Hello guys, this is Vaish. So GM crops, a very, very important topic for your prelims as well as mains. Back to back questions comes every year. There will be one question on genetically modified crops or any vaccines or anything which is edited in the DNA that related question comes in prelims and mains. Okay, I can show you the prelims questions itself in the very first slide so that you get an idea. Okay, if you're a new aspirant, you can see here like 2012, 2018, 2019, 2021, more questions are there. Okay, in 16, 17 and all more questions came, but because it was a little repetitive topic like the CRISPR Cas9 uh, thing is there, which you see in 2019 question. That is actually the Cas9 protein, okay, which is a uh, part of this molecular scissor used in targeting gene editing. So that uh, question has come two, three times. Okay, in mains also it has come. So like that, if you see the last one, date is 2021, Volgard 1 and Volgard 2 technologies are mentioned in context of, okay, so it's related to our BT cotton or the cotton, uh, genetically modified cotton crop. So that again, if you see the uh, option B will be the answer. And then uh, th these things again in detail, I can show you if you want to see the answers also of each question. The first one, let me just mark it, give me a second. The first question is other than resistance to pest, what are the prospects for which genetically engineering plants have been created? Meaning have been created, not like will be created or can be created because futuristic if they ask everything will be then the answer. Okay, but have been created like uh, to withstand rot. Yes, we can do or we have done and then increase the nutritive value of the uh, produce. And uh, then if you see enable them to grow and do photosynthesis in spaceship and space station that is a weird absurd exaggerated statement okay increasing the shelf life is there so answer will be one two and four okay so 2012 this level question came after that they started asking more of uh, indian context indian news what items are there okay so here if you see this uh, gm crop again they're asking uh, gm mustard has the genes of a soil bacterium that given the plant the property of pest resistance to a wide variety of pest okay so that is the uh, purpose also but uh, uh, the purpose of general gm crops are like that okay but here they are asking uh, lot of other features which doesn't suit it okay now if you again if you see the next one gm mustard has the genes that allow the plant cross pollination and hybridization okay maybe you are not understanding this but today i will explain all these things then it will be clear to you then gm mustard has been developed jointly by iari and punjab agriculture university so UPSC also knows that maybe the technical parts you may not know, but at least you will know that India's which live which lab and who is developing these things like who is making like ISRO is making what all things DRDO, DRDO is making what all things our Indian Agriculture Institute is making what all things that they expect you to know. And that is the only thing they were testing here. If you know that three is wrong because it is Delhi University and not Punjab University, then that three goes and then eliminate three here, eliminate three here, eliminate three here. Okay, so you get the answer as two only. Okay, meaning it has this uh, cross pollination hybridization which i'll tell you two three genes are inserted into the mustard plant and that is how it changes the variety but here again given the plant the property of pest resistance to a wide variety of pest that little bit uh, problem is there okay so that when you learn the content you will know why that is wrong so answer here is two only 2019 question as i told cas9 there is a crispr okay cri spsr crispr uh, a molecular scissor is there where they use this cas9 protein for editing the genes so that was in news back to back and that is why in prelims also it repeated back to back okay the near ball guard one I told you it is the cotton crop so de developing genetically modified crop plants so like this if you are an aspirant who'd study only bookish things and go you cannot solve any of these questions okay this is purely current affair this is purely your anal analytical skill and reading and understanding each statement looking the options correctly it requires that skill okay and now you know the pattern has become even more tougher they are asking this uh, one of the above two of the above three of the above mean the pair type thing and all they're asking so there you, you, your guesswork may not work your elimination may not work you have to apply little bit logic to it or you have to know thoroughly fully unless that you cannot solve it so be uh, sure that such questions are again going to come and prepare accordingly okay because many aspirants tell what should i expect in next prelims you should expect what has already happened in the, all the previous year exams okay so that is why you have to uh, look through it so the answers of that whatever is the detailing you can uh, pause and read here okay but anyway, this I'm not explaining. This is just for your reading sake. I've kept the basic explanation. Like I told Delhi University, if you know, you can solve this question. And then the other one, 2019 one, the molecular scissor. And then I told CRISPR technology is there. Okay, the full form is here. Clustered, regulatory, interspaced, short palindrome, repeat. Okay, so there they are using this Cas9 protein. Okay, for uh, doing something in the... Uh, DNA thing okay editing the DNA so that again technicality don't go deep because you are giving a UPSC exam and not a science exam just the these three four lines which I gave only that much understanding you should have okay 
and then 2021 i told you this ball guard one bt cotton and uh, ball guard two is also there so these two are related to see this also you guys can ask this cry one ac and cry two ab which is in the news is related to what means next time again it will come the same answer okay so you guys can pick anything they are taking the same topic but asking the question in a different way okay so now to understand all this you have to know very basically what is the meaning of gm crop okay genetically modified crop or sometimes we tell transgenic crop so even though both are same and interchangeably they are used there is a slight difference also but everybody doesn't follow the difference i will tell you that also how come that slight difference is there still they are using it interchangeably okay so all that that we'll see now why i am going on telling gm crops gm crops and all because today's editorial nothing else is important okay if you see here this ground zero the nipa in kerala i already have explained in yesterday's editorial okay nowadays like we are doing extra videos that before even the editorial comes vaishya students already got the content okay for example the special session in parliament yesterday i made a video only i think 100 people or 200 people have seen it okay today in editorial it came so when i make separate videos it is because it is in news okay so please watch those videos and understand its uh, significance okay so here again made in india and this thing you know the india that is bharat i made two separate videos one when it came in the editorial one without the editorial detailed explanation of the history of name of india and constitutional provisions i explained so that is also covered here it is andhra politics yesterday also it was there sandra baba naidu sandra baba naidu some scam and uh, the, that uh, investigations going on so not required for your exam so gm must start this big editorial this is what we will discuss today okay remaining everything if you see either we have covered it or it is not required actually we have covered it the parliament we have covered nipa we have covered in the other is bharat we have covered so it's just different different authors writing their perspective so please follow every day and make sure that you are here to pass the exam just it is like time pass youtube video when you scroll some uh, music videos or something suddenly a pop up comes by shay's video you watch half then leave it then tomorrow again watch that doesn't work if you are really here to pass the exam you have to study every day else decide that okay upsc is not for me i will give some other local exam i am not even capable of clearing upsc okay upsc cannot be cleared by your time pass studies you have to be very serious you have to study every day okay so now current affair packs alone okay how many people bought this i am i don't have the count now but whoever has enrolled i guarantee you that whichever current affairs exam you give in this country whichever exam all the current affairs will be covered in my editorial free videos plus this pdfs which you get okay it will be covered when the exam comes i will show you we will show comparison of vice versus upsc videos you will know direct direct questions were solvable okay so enroll to this the combo packs everything is what we recommend the combo 2 or 3 as per your choice you can do this is what is the most sold one also best sellers you can come and get it okay this is the whatsapp number where you have to contact me for even the basic foundation without which you should ideally not study anything foundation plus the test series enrollment uh, contact me in whatsapp okay now the basic definition basic definition of genetic modifications there in the name itself the gene you are modifying okay everything has genes dna and all inside that whether it's a plant animal or a organism you just change something that is called the gene editing okay or gene modification or short form gm okay we tell gm mustard or gm brinjal we can tell anything now uh, it is one of the approach to do the crop improvement okay mean the crop is not performance is not good meaning either it is not able to um, survive in salt uh, kind of uh, water area or maybe it is not able to give proper uh, nutritious fruits it cannot do something which is the human need then we are modifying it okay so that is called gm so in this this thing in long back i think in the next plus this box keeps coming there they are telling okay uh the first india uh, first gm crop used in india and that is actually the us company monsanto you can see here monsanto that is the one which uh, designed that and then india has adopted it and india is using it okay so 2002 we gave the go ahead and that is the name that is the only thing i told ball guard one okay this actually is providing immunity against a pink ball worm okay uh, ball worm that is actually uh, affecting the cotton plant so this one if you use this variety then it will not affect and so now at least 90 percentage of our total cotton production where we are kind of number one also in cotton and these things and also there 90 percent is this variety the ball guard or gm variety cotton so it's a huge success already but the sad thing is that after that not even a single thing we have been able to give approval okay because many uh, human rights many environmental rights and many people started protesting that this cotton is okay but food crops like mustard or brinjal rice this and all when you do gm modification some people 
uh, it will cause allergy in people it can be like some some problem and other some countries are there who don't uh, allow export of this meaning you eu Euro, european union suppose we make here a gm mustard and you try to export they will not take it because they have strict regulations we don't want any gm crops we don't want genetically modified crops they themselves might design they will have their own in technology and they will design something and they will use it but from other countries other technology they don't want it so there are many problems also many challenges are there we till now could not do it but now today's hindu it is there one person is positively supporting because already a kind of half or 90 percent approval is given for gm mustard which since the last 10 15 years is in debate now it's a kind of approval is given okay still supreme court case is pending that will when we reach hindu i will tell you okay that is a context in which we are discussing all this so here uh, the crop which is gene artificially inserted and some modification done for to make it herbicide tolerant meaning herbicide and things are there right pesticide herbicide which you put on the plants for killing the weeds killing the insect and all you spray something but what if that spray directly damage the plant itself instead of damaging the weed then it's problem so you genetically modify something to make that thing meaning the plant won't have any effect of this thing but only the weed will die meaning you're strengthening the plant that is also a gene modification so that kind of uh, uses adding desirable genes or removing undesirable ones for producing better variety is called GM crops. This is the very basic one line definition. Okay, now GMO versus transgenic, which I told. Okay, transgenic organisms, this also co keeps coming in the news. So basically, there is a plant, it will already have genes and DNA and something and all. So you are simply modifying that, you are tweaking that little bit by cutting or doing something and editing the sequence of DNA then it is called gm crop okay but transgenic is you are not changing the one inside this you may change but you may be taking gene from somewhere outside a foreign gene and then putting inside this also to give it more properties so that time it is called trans okay you can see here two terms that are used interchangeably slight difference that is transgenic organism contains a dna sequence from a different species okay from something you are putting into this cotton or something into this so that it becomes a trans it becomes the features of both the plants okay then uh, gmo is anything where dna is altered using genetic engineering meaning we are not bringing anything from outside whatever is there that we are editing to enhance the properties okay editing meaning deleting or adding okay adding means just cut paste in, within that that is called that is the basic difference but even now many people use it interchangeably also because there is no much different they call okay it is gm means it is gm it can be outside it came or inside it came again if you see so all transgenic crops are gmo because even though you are coming from outside what basically what you are doing you are modifying the gene so it is gmo but all gmos are not transgenic okay because gmos can be something which from outside it did not come it need not be transgenic so that way the basic very slight difference but you can use it for anywhere if you have to write it okay so it's a mix of science and chance you are using science also but luck also needed because these things how it behaves we cannot tell okay so safety assessment has to be done open field test has to be done which this icar the indian council of agriculture research will do in controlled plots and also you should do it for multiple seasons summer winter everything you test it and different geographical condition in rainy in dry condition everything you should test it before allowing it for approval okay so environmentally safe if it is proved only then commercial clearance you will get okay that is where i'm telling gm mustard has kind of got the clearance because last eight to ten months it is continuously doing open field testing okay that's all we'll see when we reach there okay so now in world india usa brazil argentina and canada are the five top gm growing countries okay so 90 percentage of the area of genetically modified cultivation these five countries alone uh, account for in the full world if you take and then there will be always, always when something is there, there will be supporter also, there will be opposition also. So the proponents or the supporting people are telling this is able to have the potential to solve India's agricultural problem, meaning our uh, food requirement is not met, our export requirement is not met, our oil import is too much, so we can itself, we can itself generate here. So this and all will solve this problem, that is what the proponents are telling. But the opponents are telling it will have negative implication on both the environment and also on the human health, because as I told, it will maybe affect the other plants also, or it may uh, cause any allergic reactions to the humans or animals who consume it also. So that is the one line uh, problem. At the last anyway, I will show you advantage and disadvantage, but still one line understanding okay now in india who is in charge of this it is the ministry of environment forest and climate change 
okay under the provisions of the environment protection act 1986 this is the basic legal thing which mainly uh, deals with the gm things and there is a body genetic um, engineering appraisal committee under this ministry of environment itself which is authorized to review monitor approve all the activities including import export transport manufacture use sale everything comes under this particular body they are the ones who have to give clearance and the protest everything is against this body only okay so now other than this the regulators if you see the food safety and uh, this thing in every food product any juice any maggi anything you buy this fssai certification will be there they are the ones who certify anything which is for food so they also under the food safety and standard act 2006 they will uh, have to give approval okay so that is under the i think ministry of health it will come then other there are many rules okay other than this environment protection act and fssi biological diversity act is there plant quarantine order is there gm policy under foreign trade policy is there for export and all and then drugs and cosmetic rules 1988 is all in one way or the other influence this so just in exam if you want to write the legal provisions which control the uh, uh, gm crops in india these are the indian act okay not the international one indian act now again going forward the timeline in india how this has been evolving okay so trials you know brinjal tomato maize chickpea rice everything the trials is there 20 30 trials are approved and people are doing it across this but nothing is approved for commercial use uh, till now other than the bt cotton okay so in 2002 this uh, gaac they first time approved the BT cotton like I told the Monsanto they did it and why we are telling BT instead of telling GM cotton we are telling BT cotton so that's both are same only BT cotton the name because the gene or the bacteria which they used for edit editing is this bacillus thuringiensis. so to show that in the name BT cotton they named it else if you tell GM cotton also it is same but GM cotton is a generic term where any kind of modification you did specifically with BT you did it is BT cotton okay and that is what I told in India 90% of cotton is this variety now which is fighting against the cotton ball worm okay 2007 bt brinjal came okay and almost approval was there but then after that what happened is the government because of some concerns and protest and all indefinitely they blocked it meaning no more testing on it blocked it bt brinjal gone okay then 2008 to 16 this body center for genetic Manip manipulation of crop plants okay cgmcp that is actually a body under the delhi university only they uh, tried the gm mustard testing they are doing since all these years that's why upsc is asking questions back to back also these many years it is in news okay and what they did is they added some genes which is this barnes Barstar and one bar also will be there bar bar this is not i'll explain you as a specific slide for this one this is just the timeline we are discussing so this they tried different different thing and gm mustard hybrid they are doing okay and there again if you see this body is under delhi university it was set up for this particular testing only it receives funding from this uh, dairy development board and mother dairy and fruit vegetable private limited they are all the one who funding this delhi university body and they have been last eight ten years they are test testing the gm mustard crop okay to get the approval 2022 october this development happened that commercial cultivation of genetic modified mustard is allowed after you prove the open test meaning they told it gac told this now ga mustard now they tested okay and they proved that it is like more productive than the normal mustard okay they already proved it in 2022 december now 2023 june two months back they approved the environmental release which is now bringing closer to the commercial cultivation meaning it is in final stage kind of approved and it is now going to come in uh, production okay so ongoing there is a legal case supreme court uh, questioning the all the type of transgenic food crops uh, someone has given petition so everything is as of now kept on hold so we have to wait whether supreme court will now tell anything against it once we actually start commercial cultivation okay this is the timeline for the gm crops evolution in india this is the maximum you need okay in the most crisp, crisp format i have given you now again these are all not in the hindu okay we have not even reached the hindu paper now this is the full mains gs3 topic for you free of cost i am teaching now 2021 another uh, news happened okay two three other news are there other than what i told in the timeline 2021 certain bad things happened some negative things happened so that we'll see there is a group called coalition for gm free india the name itself you know it's a group who is don't want gm crops they want gm free india okay gm mukta bharat kind of thing so they told uh, there was a, there was a news 500 tons of gm rice was found in a consignment that india exported to europe okay we don't have any gm rice but they are claiming europe has told like uh, you sent rice from here india's rice to there and it has full gm rice which is not approved okay so this is causing the reputation of india to lose in the agriculture market this is what they are telling but indian government told we don't grow gm rice we don't have that 
then what let alone exported we don't even grow then what are you talking about export okay so that debate is going on and they told we will put an investigation also on that if you have so investigations done by this apeda okay this uh, agriculture processed food products and export development authority apeda they will do a inquiry on this after that what update happened i don't think anything came out but this is the thing okay so this coalition i told you it's a group of experts activists all these people together who is opposing the gm things okay now gm rice if you say in india testing is allowed people are testing it okay so here if you see the most important one is the golden rice which they call and that golden rice is something where this uh, uh, if you see soil bacteria is used to create a grain that has more vitamin a meaning when you modify it to make it golden rice it'll have more vitamin a content in that rice and that testing is allowed in india as i told 20 gm crops testing are already done in which rice is also there okay for improved resistance to infections or insect and disease hybrid seed production nutritional enhancement this golden rice is also being tested okay but export happened as per their claim that indian government is uh, not in agreement with okay again how will suppose it was there suppose it was there as per their claim how will it affect india india is now world's number one rice exporter okay second is i think thailand and then vietnam bangladesh and all it will come mostly it is all south southeast asian countries which is the kind of rice bowl of the world also so here uh, india is the world's top thing so any bad reputation comes it will affect our uh, export okay so here if you see 18 million tons of organic rice we send out of which at least one fourth is pure basmati rice which we have our uh, gi tag also geographical indication tag basmati because pakistan also claims we are also uh, owner of basmati okay so 75 countries by uh, Indian rice. Okay, we are this much tons are there. 75 countries, including our Middle East countries, Dubai, UAE, and all, and then uh, USA, UK. Everybody likes Indian rice, Indian tea. This is all they like. Okay, so. So they are the biggest importers of basmati. The non-basmati rice also we have. That is imported by neighbors. Because neighbors also maybe they have the basmati themselves. So they want the non-basmati rice. Okay. So that is how the current trade scenario of India is there. And India's importance in rice thing. Now what happened is long back USA once faced an issue. USA in 2006 in their uh, export somewhere slight GM rice was found. Okay. And then immediately their trading partner Japan, Russia, EU everybody told we won't buy rice from USA anymore. So India also got afraid. 2006 news, India got afraid. So under pressure, India drafted policies to ban GM rice forever. We will not make GM rice because GM is, sorry, rice is the most important. Other things, maybe they won't put that much thing. But rice is something we are giving to 75 countries. Any bad name comes to us, our full export will stop. That much revenue will stop. Okay. So that is the reason. See, 65,000 crore we got in 2020. This year, it will be even more. So that is why we didn't take chance. And we are telling to that coalition group that we did not export any rice which has GM content in that. Meaning GM edited rice we did not send. Okay. But again, illegally in our country, you know, nobody will listen. There has been news there. ST, BT, cotton, BT, brinjal, unauthorized rice. This and all commercially here and there by uh, blatantly defying the government ban. Still, cultivation is happening here and there. People are, farmers are doing for their profit such news is there and that can be true because india you know nobody follows rules like you you know that uh, gujarat is a dry state but do you think that there nobody gets liquor you will get liquor it, it is up to your uh, tantrums and how, how you have contacts with the people okay you can get it it's all in the name only always anything you ban it is always in the name only okay so this is the basics about rice in the rice export and rice things in india now 2021 one news i told you about this coalition group one more news is there I told you GM crops are there, normal crops are there. But sometimes we hear the news like the country's first ever non-GM herbicide tolerant rice variety, this uh, Pusa Basmati 1979 and 1985 is made by India. So what is this non-GM crop? Okay, ideally GM and non-GM means normal plant. But this is not normal plant, this is somewhere in the middle. It is non-GM, still it is being like developed as a herbicide tolerant one. Okay, so you understood the difference. One is one normal plant which has any features or not features, that is one. Then there is GM crops, where we modify it to make something. Now we are telling non-GM, but it has the features. How is it non-GM and still have the features? That we will see. Okay, 2021 news. So here, they, this body, Indian Agriculture Research Institute, AIRI, they made this rice variety and that is now good and it will uh, save water, it will save labor because now no need to do that nursery plantation, then take the plant and then transplant to another place. Too much water and all is needed or too much people is needed, that will go away. Now direct seeded rice, this is another concept I will teach you some other day. Direct seeded uh, rice, okay. So that is like you uh, grow it and then you directly with the like drill it and then put it there okay no extra water needed no extra thing needed because it has all the features already okay so that direct thing is the be biggest benefit is that one it can be direct seeded instead of the traditional conventional transplanting method okay now how this was developed that it will be a little technical but i'll tell you okay 
the plant is there the basic rice plant is there okay so in that there is a gene this is the uh, name this acetolactate uh, lactate synthal, uh, synthase als okay acetolactate synthase als is already there in the rice okay what it does is see als gene in the rice generally without modification i'm telling it will synthesize the amino acids for the cro crop growth and development so its job is to enhance or synthesize that amino acids or the protein inside the plant to for its better development this is how it normally works now when plants are there obviously we will because weeds and something all come and affect it we'll have to spray insecticides and herbicides on it right so when we are doing herbicides see what is happening when the herbicide is sprayed on normal plants uh, this herbicide material right whatever the chemical that is binding with that als which we have that als has a job there als has to go and uh, do that uh, amino acids enhancement but this herbicide came it is disturbing this it is causing or binding into this als and then it is stopping the production of amino acids inhibiting the production of amino acids so the plant is facing some problem I ideally what should they do this herbicide should not test the plant it should only test the weeds or the non unwanted things around it and then remove that but it is disturbing the plant itself along with the weed also so how will we repair this one method is gm modify you do the gm you insert a gene or do something but they now as i told rice we don't take risk we don't want to do gene editing we don't want to do anything but we can use chemicals to solve it there is a mutation process okay so that way when chemical something you do and then you change the features of the plant meaning the dna also will change but you are not literally cutting pasting or doing anything there you are not using molecular scissor or anything you are using a chemical and then modifying the traits of the plant that is called a non gm crop okay when you are changing something but not through the gm okay here down you can see it is not a genetically modified thing because the herbicide tolerance is through mutation breeding and that how it is i will tell you exactly now we reach till here right till here we reached this chemical this imazetafir okay in case upsc ask this was in news this is related to this uh, pusa 1979 and 1985 non gm variety of rice so this one is effective against these weeds okay this is also a herbicide it is effective against these weeds but as i told on normal paddy you cannot do because the chemical doesn't distinguish between the weed and the plant and then the plant will get problem that amino acid thing won't happen so now what you did is you mutated it you mutated the gene by some chemical process that chemical is ethyl methanosulfonate some chemical mutant this thing you used this thing you used and then you mutated the als gene inside the rice plant now you spray this okay after that when you spray this this will not bind with the als okay it became a little strong or something happened to it, that it will not this chemical uh, that imz this one okay imz the fire that one will not affect the plant als binding it will not happen it will only go and affect the weed and the weed will get removed so you chemically did something change and you acquired your thing that is called the non gm crop and the first ever non gm herbicide tolerant rice variety is these two which was in 2021 news and i think it was not asked till now but it can ask or in the mains you can use this also when you explain gm non gm normal plant okay so i explained the, in the very simplest way i hope you understood so now the amino acid synthesis will not be inhibited it will not be stopped so the plants can now tolerate application of the herbicide and it kills only the weeds okay so it is no foreign gene involved no gene modification involved it's only chemical process so it is not a gmo it is a non gm crop okay now coming to today's topic hindu will start the next slide before that one slide about that mustard which is now getting approval so the name again is we had that one as bt cotton here the name is dmh okay dhara mustard hybrid dmh 11 that is the name which that uh, ias that uh, institute delhi university uh, they have given the name like this so it's an indigenously developed one okay the other cotton you know we took it from usa this one is we are developing here okay using a transgenic method so what is transgenic foreign something we are inserting so it's a genetically modified variant of herbicide tolerant mustard that is india already we have something called varuna okay which has this i think barnes something gene will be there and we have the european one which is this hira okay where this barstar thing will be there see barnes in varuna barstar in hira so these two are there mustard usually is a self pollinating plant meaning it has this male and female thing parts and then it will uh, that mating and that will self pollinate now what you are doing is with this uh, first one this barnes in varuna what it happens is it will temporarily sterilize meaning that uh, self pollination it will stop okay and then the other one when it comes in contact 
this once one male and one female that from two different plants it will start mating now so the features of both it will come this is the basic meaning okay you don't have to write like this and all in the exam but what they are doing is temporary sterility because uh, it so that it cannot naturally self pollinate and then this other thing will come it will block the effect of the barnes and then allowing the seeds to produce okay now the two came together now it will do the pollination okay so two things and one more gene is there i told bar gene is there to maintain the genetic purity of the hybrid seed so for some purity improvement something another gene is there so three genes are used for this thing okay and now this has shown 28 percentage more yield than the national check and 37 percentage more than the zonal check meaning as per their testing result they have shown increased yield and increased production okay and we need more production here it is not more about fighting pest or fighting herbicide and all like in that question it is more about increasing the production we need more and more mustards uh, high quality mustard so that we can generate oil from that okay because oil is something which we will discuss now edible oil is another very important topic of upsc so we will discuss it so you understood the basics right they are using a uh, 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 gene okay which is from the soil bacterium called bacillus something okay this thing they are using to enhance the production of the mustard okay now if you go to the uh, uh, hindu today's hindu starts from here okay till now i told all static things your complete gm topic is actually covered now adoption of science based technologies for crop improvement okay that is developing gm crops is the absolute necessity to address food and nutritional security under the fast changing climate change so this author is actually in full support of gm crops he is very happy that approval is coming and we should do it okay so full positivity only you will see the entire article okay so now global food security and uh, nutrition report 2019 came in which it is told it is difficult to achieve the zero hunger target by 2030 meaning we have this sdg goal which i keep teaching you sdg goal okay which is 2015 to 2030 we are already halfway okay and we have to achieve 17 goals which has 169 targets okay all 17 goals you should by heart actually the first one is zero poverty second one is zero hunger third one is i think uh, health related something and fourth one is education related something okay p h h e like that one trick was there and then after that uh, uh, oceans land uh, pollution like that 17 big goals are there which we full world has to achieve so the second goal is hunger zero hunger so as per the rate we are going now we cannot achieve zero hunger we don't have that much food and nutritious food and all so gm is the right way which is what the author is suggesting okay you also in your answer should always quote a sdg goal that is the authenticity you are giving to your answer okay then so we need to accelerate the pace of improving crops genetically we need superior uh, crop variety which provide enhanced yield wide adaptability across different environment okay meaning it is drought area it is salt area anything it the plant should grow okay and then it should require fewer input of natural resource meaning lesser water lesser uh, sunlight lesser everything lesser still it should be able to do because you know in japan korea many places they are lab growing plants okay israel israel is a country which is in the desert still they are the ones with the maximum fruits and vegetables that to high quality fruits and vegetables production and they are exporting it to mediterranean countries like italy germany and all greece and all where they are the best favoring climate which they have for uh, fruits and vegetables but they are importing it from a desert so that is the technological brilliance of israel okay which india also is learning and trying to adopt different different things the water uh, conservation and many things and all from them so that's a different thing and here it is about gene so now india's condition you should know during the independence time we didn't even have rice for eating okay rice we used to import from usa then only green revolution came our uh, lal bahadur shastri then indira gandhi later and all in the 60s and 70s we had this green revolution jay jawan jay kisan this and all you would have heard 50 million tons of our production reached 300 million tons now that much we have improved okay five six times we have improved our this thing and we have become the number one exporter of rice also in the world so that is a huge achievement okay but however we need not only quantity we need the quality also and also now climate change problem has started so everywhere flood everywhere disaster everywhere heat waves cold waves so your plants you are not able to grow as per your earlier goals which you are doing you are not able to do that target so now we need new nutrient dense food production capability through gm crops through biotechnology through bio crops this is the author suggestion okay so this is an opening paragraph to tell you the need for why he is supporting the gm crops now genetic modification of crops using the available and vast genetic diversity in conjunction with traditional farming has been well documented for increasing productivity contributing to food feed and fiber meaning you should not stop traditional farming along with traditional farming you should do gm crops also then it will help in productivity increase in not only your food but the feed also meaning the animal food also food feed and fiber 
nutritious fiber secure everything will be covered if you do it properly both hand in hand so according to a report by international service for acquisition of Ag agri biotech application is to play when somebody is there in 2020, 72 countries have adopted GM crops either as the human food or as the animal feed as well as for commercial cultivation. 72 countries, that is uh, like huge number. Total in this world, 195 countries are there. 72 countries are doing it. So it's a, a proven thing or people are using it. Okay. 56 percentage of the global GM crop is actually from developing countries. The industrial developed countries are only 44 percent. So majority of these things are happening in developing world. Okay, maybe China, maybe India, maybe Vietnam, maybe all these places which is not considered as the developed countries. Okay, so now GM crops have benefited more than 1.95 billion people in five countries, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, India and USA. Okay, so that includes the farmers also who consume also everything. Okay, so 26 percent of the current world population of the 7.6 billion population we have, 26 percent of the people are getting benefit out of GM crops. This green what I highlighted, you should use in your answer. Then only you can prove to the examiner that there is a positivity in using GM crops. Okay, else without data, you simply write GM is good. That is not enough. Okay, it will help in food security. Not enough. You have to write these numbers. You have to write proven data. Okay. So, BT cotton was commercialized as the first GM crop in India more than 20 years ago. And it's a great success story in terms of economic advantage to the farmers and the nation as a whole. So globally, genetic modification has expanded its reach beyond the four major crops, meaning major, majorly if you see most people are doing in soya bean, in maize, in cotton, in canola. These are the main crops which world was doing. But now we have crossed that. We are testing in almost everything, in rice, in whatever you can think they are trying, uh, trying GM uh, modification. Okay. So now this will be economically important food crops for so you need insecticide tolerant, herbicide tolerant, climate resistance, uh, nutritional quality improvement. These are the features you need. Okay. Now, global economic gains, how much it is? 1996 to 2018, 225 billion. Okay. 224.9, $225 billion in economic benefits to more than 16 million farmers, 95% of who are from developing countries. So again, you got the numbers also, you got the population, you got the economic numbers also. This all you should use in your answer. Okay. Further, GM food crops since adoption 96 globally has been proven for their biosafety for the last 25 years and more. Meaning wherever the food crops also, not like cotton, the food crops also globally they have done. It's all like safety is guaranteed. Safety is there. Last 25 years, you didn't hear any problem because of GM crops. Okay. So that is the reason uh, the author is suggesting or uh, telling that we should do it. Now we'll go to the oil concept. Till now we talked about food. In India, there is a deficit of oil. Okay. So that numbers also I'll give you in a, in a short while I'll give you. So India faces a major deficit. 60% of its demand are met by imports. Mustard is one of the most important edible oil crop in India. However, its per hectare yield is very low when compared to the global average. Meaning we need it too much, but still we don't have too much hectare yield. Okay. So now this is vital for economic well-being of farmers and self-sufficiency of edible oil production. Now they are telling the same body which I showed you, University of Delhi's one body is there, CG, uh, MCP. They are that, I told, they are doing open testing of this GM mustard hybrid and uh, uh, they are uh, facilitating an increase in domestic production of edible oil as well, enhanced income. Meaning it's not only for the food, for oil consideration also they have, that is why they are doing continuous testing. Okay, GM mustard hybrid is based on this Barnes Bastar system I already told you, that Indian crop and the European crop and there's that bar also, bar uh, which for that purity of the thing and then here same thing see principle of removing male fertility in one parent and restoring it with the other one offspring okay that's how they make the new variety so the herbicide tolerant gene has been deployed as a selection marker advantage in term of soil saving moisture nutrient weed control this and all is there but again as i told more than this purpose in gm mustard we are doing that mating purpose or modifying purpose actually to increase the number okay selecting genetically transformed lines and for hybrid seed production for that hybrid seed to get we are mainly doing it more than other factors okay so here 2022 sorry uh, 22 october the geac they made a landmark decision of approving the release of dmh 11 for the parental line of cultivation okay meaning initial line of cultivation they have allowed it so now this will enable the generation of new crops with improved trait and now here the number if you see edible oils our consumption, Indian people consume 25 million tons of edible oil. But we produce how much? We produce mustard oil only 8.5 million tons. So remaining 13 million tons of something we are importing now, which is 1.17 lakh crore. 
if that much money you had you can do many other things okay we are importing just oil of that money from other countries that is why cultivation of this indigenous mustard hybrid it will reduce the oil import burden and help us to achieve self reliance in edible uh, oil production okay so this will mark a new era of self reliance and sustainability and more improved gm crops should be also again uh, entertained okay this will boost the profitability uh, profitability meaning we are telling doubling the farmers income and all that will also uh, get benefit here okay so this uh, main things you have to take away is that only that barnes bastar and bar system so it will like we see higher yield but also ensure resistance to disease and improve quality of oil so whatever i told everything i think is important there is no unwanted line here that's why everything is underlined or highlighted okay so mean the numbers the statistics the universities which are involved the genes which are involved then the other problems which i told you 2021 we faced two issues one in usa and one here so that also you have to know like this basic things now in case a summary kind of thing you need of advantage okay hindu is over i just put the same points again in one slide like genetically engineering plants specific if you take the advantage insect resistant nutritive value you can increase herbicide tolerant high tolerance to cold heat drought salinity then uh, delayed this uh, senescence actually meaning aging type thing okay delayed aging fruit ripening spoilage leading to extended shelf life of the perishable produce uh, tolerance to diseases drought heat cold again same thing increased biomass and seed yield this is the general of the plants now genetic genetic modification is not only for plants right it can be for animals it can be for organizing it can be anything so there like even vaccine when we are making so that is why general advantage if you want you can write crops and plants as one or two points salt uh, environment and the weed control this and all you can write other than that you should write the safer and affordable vaccines you should write about enhanced quality of biofuels like we have we, we need the plant waste and many things for making uh, biofuels now okay so that also is extra thing then climate change is happening so general points when upsc ask you about genetic modification you have to write all this if plant specific they ask you you have to write the first one now they ask you disadvantage then you have to write this one it can cause allergic reaction because of dna change uh, it is banned by many countries so we cannot to export they will not take it anyway then lose nutritional value like you are focusing on just making it uh, grow and like herbicide tolerant this and all but the fruit which comes out of the uh, uh, this thing gm crop it is found that sometimes some fruits and all nutrition reduces meaning normally if a plant grows even though weeds and everything is there fruit will be nutritious but here weeds and all you removed through gm but the fruit seems less nutritious that is proven some places that is why the people are protesting okay then uh, disrupt natural gene flow and end indigenous plant variety when we have an indian variety we are bringing european variety and mixing it our indian variety will finally finally die off then nobody will do that so indian indigenous varieties will end that is another disadvantage then endanger to wildlife again you are modifying some genes and all maybe as i told it can be allergic it can be poisonous it can become something to the normal uh, deer mice pig everyone who come and eat this uh, crop waste and residue of the agriculture they may die also they get, may get disease also so these are the minimum okay minimum points you can write it 100 points you can write but minimal points at least which you should write in a thing because upsc will never ask write the advantage and disadvantage like that they will not give a 10 mark they will ask a full question on 10 mark or 15 mark so a section of advantage and disadvantage is enough okay that is why i gave you this so the full gm crops and mustard thing i have explained you and this is the most detailed fashion also so make sure that you practice daily you tell your feedback daily because when i put this effort right i, I took i think 4 5 hours to make this presentation for you and then record it shoot it and reach it to you and now after this i have to send it to you in whatsapp also because most of you did not subscribe our channel you didn't not hit the bell icon you don't get notified when a, a youtube video is uploaded i have to force you to watch video so this much effort i am doing for what for what you are getting the marks okay and your result is finally our result also so when we do something please do it every day please do it seriously because i want you to write the best answer in the mains okay not like every this pt365 and coaching class answer is there which everybody writes the same all people's answer are same i have seen papers i have corrected papers papers are all same okay so i need variety in my answer i need the best answer the best content best statistics best uh, uh, relation with uh, meaning current affair plus static you link it this is called a best answer and so i have given it it's up to you whether you learn it and write it and then later you can come and thank us if you feel like okay but if you do good itself somehow we'll come to know so please do this every day and bring good results okay for yourself your family and for us also okay so follow us on instagram whatsapp and all i'll come up with the next video thank you and have a nice day